a nested loop is basically just a loop inside a loop. So nested loops are just loops inside loops inside loops. A repeating pattern which itself repeats again. We just put it inside a loop and then put that loop inside a loop. First is helpful. If you already got it, you can leave this video. If not, we can jump in and look at some examples as to what I mean. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's say I'm designing a chessboard and I want to create a grid. The, the chessboard, right? That's basically many, many squares, repeating squares. And the first step to do that is like a square. And I know that a square itself is a repeating pattern, right? A repeating pattern of lines. So I'm going to draw that part first and I'll do that pretty, uh, pretty quickly because I'm getting better at coding now. So I'll do turn left by 90 degrees, move forward by 40 pixels, tiny square. Let's run it. It's faster. Good. So we have a square. But now I want to draw more squares like this to the right of this. Let's say, and I want to draw say three squares or four squares. How do I do that? Now what I can do is copy this and paste this again and then do this once again. Do you think this will draw another square? Yes, it will because I literally just pasted the code, but will it do it next to it over here? Will it? Think about it. Let's click again and let's see what happens. What it did was, if I can slow it down for you, what it did was do two squares <coughs> exactly in the same place uh, because that's what I asked it to do. <clears throat> but what do you want it to do? You want it to go a little bit forward and then draw, right? He drew the first square here. You want him to then jump forward a little bit over here and then start the square. That's how you do a chessboard, right? You want it to be here. Let me draw it out for you. You want it to be over here. <clears throat> then how much should you jump forward? I'm sorry, I'm coughing here. Um, think about it, the same amount you move forward, right? That's what you should do. So I'm going to jump forward by 40 pixels. So I've jumped forward by 40 pixels. Now let me put this square again. Let's see if this works. Okay, one square. Then he jumps forward. There it is. Uh, so I did get what I wanted to get done. So how would I draw another square in front of that? You probably already figured it out. So jump forward again by 40 pixels. By now you might be getting bored and noticing uh, the pattern that we are seeing here, right? Because I'm going to copy this again and paste it again and then put it over here. And then I'm going to jump forward again after that so that I'm ready to draw the next square. So I can keep doing this, right? I'll keep drawing squares next to each other towards the right. Let's see if that works. Perfect. So how many times have I done this? Three times. So to draw three squares, I have three of those pieces of code repeating again and again and again, right? But that itself has a repeat, but who cares? You take this piece of code and repeat that three times, I can draw three squares. So what do I do now? Whenever I catch something like this, all I have to do is put that whole thing inside a repeat, right? That repeating block that I have over here, I'm going to take that. Let me take this out. Keep it over there because that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to put this whole thing inside a repeat. How many other times I want to. So if I make this repeat three times, right, these pieces of code you can neglect now, I should get exactly what I got, right? Perfect. Now, why is this happening? What, I, what did I just do? Let's just look at the code. Like, let's notice it. So repeat three times. The computer will be like, okay, fine. I'll repeat three times. Something I should repeat three times. And then I go inside, oh, another repeat, repeat four times. Then what it will do is it will go and repeat this code, whatever is inside this small repeat four times. It will go move forward, turn left, move forward, turn left, move forward. What is it doing here? It's basically drawing one square, right? And then it's going to jump forward by 40, get ready to draw the next square. So if I reset this, you can see that, you know, it's going to get ready to draw the next square, right? Jump forward by 40 pixels and then go all the way up there again, right? All the way up again and then start this whole thing and do this whole thing three times. That's what you're really doing when you're putting this entire code inside a repeat. Think about it. Take some time if this looks a little bit confusing. And you might have a question, why is this called a nested repeat? I'll talk about it in the end. So let's run this code now, but let's test whether we've got it right by making it five times. That's an advantage now, right? Now I can repeat it as many times as I want. So what do you think will happen here? Five squares will get created. Let's see. Perfect. So what you saw here is basically a loop inside a loop. 
But as far as the computer goes, what is it doing? It reads, okay, repeat five times. It then goes whatever is inside here, it does it once. If there is a repeat inside itself, then it will do that repeat. It will not care about the outside repeat. Then jump outside and look at this command. Now this command is what is like critical. The command that's going between one loop and the other loop, right? Because that tells you after drawing one square, what should I do? The computer is like, okay, I drew one square here in the smaller loop. What should I do? Should I turn left and draw the next one? Should I jump forward and draw? Should I jump backward and draw? So this command is what I want you to focus on a lot. By the way, you can also add more loops inside, okay? Inside this, this smaller loop, you can put another loop if you want. This can keep going. And there are examples that you will try where you will do that, like a loop inside a loop, inside a loop, inside a loop. You can keep doing that. It's super fun. And it also saves you a lot of time uh, because the number of lines of code you have to write is really, really low. So go ahead, play with it. And uh, thanks for the focus.